India is destroying China's dreams of building a mega canal in Thailand. And now the US and Australia have joined the party. China and its authoritarian leader Xi Jinping must be seething through their teeth as news reports have come out suggesting that India, Australia and the US, three of the four integral members of the Quad, have shown the desire to invest in the Krakenal project, which is being actively entertained by the Thailand government as a viable alternative after China's proposal for the same was shelved. According to a report in the Economic Times, a parliamentary panel in Thailand on Monday claimed Several nations had shown an interest in constructing a canal across southern Thailand. Thai Nation Power Party MP Songklot Thiparat, who chairs the parliament's group that studies the project's feasibility, said that countries such as India, Australia, the US and of course a still stubborn China are willing to support Thailand on the project. Reported by TFI earlier, China had been looking to construct a 120-kilometer-long mega-canal cutting through the isthmus of Kra in Thailand. This could have ostensibly helped Beijing in solving the Malacca dilemma as it would have opened the South China Sea to the Indian Ocean by passing the Strait of Malacca. However, the Thailand government, after facing flack from the public for even entertaining the thought of allowing China to encroach its sovereign boundaries, had eventually clipped the wings of the plan. A Bloomberg report suggested that Thailand was instead looking to construct a land passageway by passing the Strait of Malacca, effectively scrapping the Krakenal project. The Strait of Malacca is a major bottleneck in China's global ambitions. 80% of China's oil supplies pass through the Malacca Strait, apart from forming its trade routes to the Middle East and Europe. But India's geographical position is such that it can easily block the western side of the Strait of Malacca. A key reason why China has not been able to grow too powerful as a navy is the looming threat that the democratic and fair powers like India, Australia and other Southeast Asian nations are well positioned to cut off Chinese supply lines in the event of a major military confrontation by creating a blockade around the Strait of Malacca. However, if a trustworthy nation like India was to be on board to construct the canal, the deal could be mutually profitable for both the countries and, in turn, the new world order. Therefore, the renewed interest from the Thai side is being seen as an indication that apart from China, Prime Minister Prayut Chanochan is willing to go with any other country. The Quad has sensed this as an opportunity to exercise more influence in the region and hence has taken the road less travelled. And it seems like the superpower group is willing to talk back to China in its own language. With India already flexing its muscles in its Andaman and Nicobar Islands, China could be given a double whammy if India or its allies have control over the new Kra Canal. As we reported earlier, the Union government has expedited the plans for basing additional military forces, including facilities for additional warships, aircraft, missile batteries and infantry soldiers at the strategically located Andaman Islands. If completed, the canal will connect the Gulf of Thailand with the Andaman Sea, providing a shortcut for vessels to navigate between the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean. The perennial dream of China to become an expansionist mogul in the area would be blown into smokes if New Delhi, Washington or Canberra get hold of the geostrategically important deal. Therefore, within a matter of months, China's glee has been turned into sorrow.